Hi, welcome to another Gateway Flipped Classroom video. In Unit 7, you read about a famous football player. Do you remember Edson Arantes do Nascimento? He's the Brazilian football player that is better known as Pelé. In fact, he's the player who has the world record for scoring the most goals. But like many sports people, he was quite superstitious. There are players whose superstitions can almost stop them from playing. Take Pelé. He had a time when he was playing really well and scoring lots of goals. Then he gave away his favourite shirt to a fan. Just after that, he started playing badly. He decided that to play well again and score goals, he needed the lucky shirt which he'd given away. He told a friend to find the fan and get his shirt back. The friend came back with a shirt. He never told Pelé that it was new and that it wasn't the shirt that he had given away. In fact, he never even found the place where the fan lived. The important thing was that Pelé believed it was his lucky shirt and he started playing well again. The words that you've just seen highlighted are all relative pronouns. Let's look at how we use them. We use who and that for people. We use which and that with things. We use whose to talk about possessions. We use where with places. And we use when with times. All of the sentences we've looked at contain defining relative clauses. We call them defining relative clauses because they give essential information about the person, thing, place or time in the first half of the sentence. So, for example, when we say Pelé's the player who has the world record for scoring the most goals, the relative clause defines which player we're talking about. The sentence doesn't make much sense without the relative clause. Now look at this sentence. Notice how we can omit that in this sentence. That's because we have a noun or pronoun immediately after the relative pronoun. If we don't have a noun or pronoun immediately after the relative pronoun, we can't omit it. Look at this example. There's no noun or pronoun immediately after that, so we can't take the relative pronoun away. Actually, I have a lot of football shirts myself, but I'm not superstitious and I don't really have a lucky shirt. I've got some favourite shirts though, and this is one of them. I like it because a friend gave it to me as a present. Thinking about it, it's a good thing that I'm not superstitious. Thanks for watching.